Hello everyone, and welcome to the final level of Let's Play Thief The Dark Project, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. This level here is literally the fastest level that there is. There is no faster level. However, it is full of enemies. I mean, absolutely full of enemies. Basically, the reason for that is there is a portal, much like this one that we start out at, this is how we get here, um, that is releasing these creatures into this, uh, this particular maw that we're in right now. There's also a whole bunch of gas arrows in this beginning part here. Very helpful. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, read our objectives. This level is called Into the Maw of Chaos. We're playing on difficulty expert as usual. And we have three objectives. Descend through the Maw of Chaos and locate Constantine. Once you've located Constantine, swap the real eye with the replica that the Hammerites have crafted. Now, I don't know for sure, but I kind of think that the chisel we found in the previous level is what they used to craft that fake eye. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems kind of logical to me, and they really wanted that uh, chisel anyway. So it seems like it could have happened. Anyhow, our uh, final objective is to destroy the portal that the beasts are entering through before Constantine finishes his ritual. So. One of the main reasons that there are so many monsters on this level is due to the fact that there is a portal within this level that releases monsters in a constant stream. So we've got mantis dudes and apparently uh, blue lobster people right there, as well as uh, our old favorite monkey men, who just continuously, continuously keep coming. Um, this entire level is literally a downward slope, and I'm sure if you went very quickly through this, you could probably finish this in maybe five minutes. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go nice and slowly, enjoy this level and all the sparkles on the ceiling it has to offer. I think this is a very awesome level, and holy crap, thanks for the glitch try to walk around that and it just wants to instead make me walk up towards the ceiling. Whatever. That's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna try and take this as slowly as possible because this is a very, in my opinion, pretty level. It's got lots of really interesting colors and shapes and so forth throughout the level that, um, in a way resembles the Lost City, but at the same time looks different as well. It's a really neat level in my opinion. Let's go ahead and grab these. And um, also something that uh, is probably very easily overlooked is the fact that we have a papyrus in our inventory. Um, now, as we read in our uh, objectives, we need to destroy a portal. Now, this papyrus gives us some really vital hints to uh, how to do that. Garrett, all we can offer you in aid are these crystals and this passage from one of our oldest books. The trickster works, such as they are, are made of the unformed stuff of the world, not the proper materials the builder hath taught. Fire and water, earth and air, these are for the trickster, as brick and beam are to us. But, like their master, they are flawed. His maw is anchored by raw elements, and therein lies its weakness. Destroy each of its anchors with its opposite, and the maw must then follow in their wake. So basically what we're getting from that um, is the fact that you can uh, get rid of the crap that's down here, the portal, as it is called, um, through using elemental arrows to destroy uh, each of its anchors. So 
by the end of this, we need to at least have one of each of the elemental arrows, or we technically fail the mission. We don't want to fail the mission. That would be uh, a bad thing to do. Anyways, we'll uh, try and get down here as fast as possible. I'm going to try and keep as many of these uh, gas arrows as I possibly can, just because I... Uh, like to use them elsewhere. And it sounds like something's coming. Whoa. That was the wrong key. <laughs> Shush you. I meant to hit a completely different key and managed to, uh, to hit a key that moved me forward instead. What's up, Mr. Monkey? No one. No one at all. Don't you worry about it. Yeah. So, there's these random bubble things, and, uh... If we just wait here for a little while, we're going to see what the hell these things are. Yeah. That is, uh, what that portal is spitting out. Random, creepy green bubbles that just, uh, continuously spit out more and more creatures. Fan-freaking-tastic. Not something we want to deal with, but something we're gonna have to deal with. Anyway, let's wait for that uh, mantis guy that we saw to get his ass over here, and we'll take him down. <laughs> now, as we near the end of this game, I would, uh, I would like to invite you all to, uh, to stay for the credits, because there's some really neat pictures of the people who developed this game. Uh, in Keeper costumes at the end of this game, in the credits, and I really, really think they're pretty awesome pictures. Um, not only that, but I plan to try and get some bonus material in here. Um, I don't know how the logistics of that are going to work out, but I will do my best to, uh, to get that extra stuff in there. I'm not going to tell you what it is, you're going to have to wait to find out. Now, these things are a pain in the ass. If you get close to them, they actually do damage to you. So, um, do your best not to get close to them. Also, the other thing is, this is ice, and, uh, slides you around rather well. I'm not actually moving, I just kind of tap forward and then I slide. So, it's, um, something you gotta be careful about, because these things will indeed stab you if you get too close to them. But I would like to get some water arrows. First of all, because we're going to need some water arrows for the end of this. But second of all, because water arrows are helpful, and we only had one in our inventory to begin with. That's basically the crystals that they were talking about that they gave us, was those water arrows. And this, in my opinion, is probably the most annoying part, because there is three of those frog beast creatures, and they're just bouncing around happily. I really hate frog beasts. And not only that, but we have ice to worry about. I don't know how I'm going to do this <laughs> successfully, just because this is a pain. As you can see, I'm already sliding. I'm not touching anything right now. It's just going. Let's see here. What do I have on me? Mm, nothing there. Alright, well. I may just need to uh, make a mad dash for it. I don't know. I suppose I could try and shoot them with broadhead arrows, but 
Okay, this is not going my way. We're running. We are most certainly running. See you guys later. Oh, this looks like pain. Holy crap! Whoa. Yeah, let's not try that again. I I agree, Garrett. Holy. We almost got stabbed in the face. That could have been really, really dangerous and deadly. I'm glad that we managed to stop before uh, before that got bad. Ah, oh, great. Fire elementals. Just what I don't want to deal with. Whoa, hello. Alright. I need to save one of these or we're going to be screwed later on. My best not to uh, to wait. Whoa, hello. No thanks. No. You uh, you gonna fire some more of that stuff at me? You done? All right. Get the hell out of here. This looks like fire arrows over here. So let's see if we can't. Get ourselves some nice arrows to help out. This, in my opinion, is probably the prettiest level there is in this entire game. I think it's fantastic that they saved all this stuff for last. What I'm sorry about, sad about even, is that this level is so short. Holy crap, that is quite a fall down there. We are definitely not going that way. Lots of monsters floating over that way, too. Watch out for the death crystals. I think I saw some fire arrows over here. Hello, fire arrows. Nice. Those will definitely be helpful. That, that is a drop. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go over here. There we go. Let's see what we have up here. Hey, is that another fire arrow? Nice. I will most certainly take that. Got anything else down here? Is that fruit? It is. That will probably be very helpful later on. Whoa! Now that is a drop. Holy crap. Let's let's go back. <gasps> this is not going to be a fun slide to go down. I'm sure Garrett dreads this just as much as I am. Alright, here we go. One thing I recommend is continuously try to press back while you're going down these, it actually slows you down just a bit. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh, God. This looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah, as you may or may not realize, anything that is blue like this will damage you, so don't touch it. Or at least try not to. Is that water going up? Um... Whoa, okay. That is some strange magic to water, let me tell ya. I need air! I do not like water, and we are about to go up against a lot of it. This is possibly one of the uh, most difficult water areas there is. Yeah. As you may or may not notice, there is water everywhere. It's on the ceiling, on the floors. Yeah. Great. 
make sure you get as much air as you possibly can get here because this is going to test your uh, your skills at swimming as fast as possible. And I may end up taking damage. I'm gonna do my best not to though. Alright. Just need to make it around here. Almost out of air. Come on. Come on. There it is. Ah, phew. That was close. <sighs> right. Here we go again. I am not a fan of water, but uh, I'm more a fan of water than lava. Let me tell you that. Oh boy. So, as we're running out of air, you may notice that the blue thing we saw earlier is right below us. And I'm gonna hit oh. it. Ow! That was painful. That was not what I was going for, but... Uh, We'll go with it. We'll go with it. I'm I'm fully healed again. That's that was fine, you know. I kind of kind of hit the side of that. I don't always uh, make it straight down into that thing. Now that's big. Yeah, that is pretty big. Great. That is a really big tree for underground, though. All right, let's see if we can find a way around here or into this tree or something like that. Oh, hello. Couple of monkey dudes. I love these wide open spots because it's really easy to just walk up behind anyone and knock them out. Of course, if it was wide open and bright, it wouldn't be that great anymore. Eh, it wasn't. It was just fine. Great. A tree full of spiders. Just what I wanted. 